I want you guys to enjoy each other for as long as you have with, you have this time with each other because it will go fast and make sure you tell each other that you love you love each other and that you say it with meaning and because you may not ever get another chance to do it. And I, you know, when I, he said that it struck a chord with me because it's true. When I look to my left, I'm seeing Devin Booker. When I'm looking to my right, I'm seeing Willie Colley Stein. I see in front of me, I see Tyler Eulis, Alex Poitras, Trey Lyles, Aaron, Andrew. Her there's, there's, um, like the list goes on. There's so much talent in this room. I will never see another room like this. We're winning 30 games in a row. This 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 moment may never come. We may be 40 and 0 it's when it's said and done at the time. I got to enjoy this moment because this present moment will never come back. You get so lost in work, you forget what it is to live life. And um I took that uh I took that to heart. And every time I play, I, I just I look at my teammates all the time and I always tell them that I that I appreciate them and I really um, you know, I, I, I always appreciate my teammates a lot because I never know if I'll be able to play with them again the next day, especially in this business, trades, injury, uh, business. So I always look at it like an opportunity to have another chance to play with my brothers, play with, uh, amazing guys. So, and even in the, all the other stuff, all the stuff when you guys, seen uh the tough times I've had here in Minnesota I, I I'm appreciative of that moment of those times even in the Aiden thing even we Jimmy Butler I, I said I was appreciative of the time we had we want we went to the playoffs that's a time you know that I got to I got to enjoy with my mother with my father one of my most iconic photos of my career I will ever have is my mom and my father hugging me after winning uh, the eighty second game against Denver, like that's 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 irreplaceable. Fuck all the 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 character shit, the, the all that other stuff. Like that shit didn't mean shit. I went through all that so I could have that moment with my moms, so I could be on the court saying her her baby made it to the playoffs. I always told you I'll make it to the playoffs. Not only would I make it to the NBA, I told you I would find a way to win in this league. You know, and God willing, I have great health. I have many more opportunities to do it. But in that present moment, the job was accomplished. I got to I got to the playoffs. I gave myself a chance to go out there and possibly win a championship. I never I could never take that back. I could never take that back. All the shit, whatever, not not seeing eye to eye with people and all that stuff. It was worth it for that moment. And I think every single one of my teammates, regardless of how our relationships were, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for every single one of that, of those moments. And every one of those guys and all the coaches, Tibbs included. Shout out to Tibbs. Thank you, Tibbs. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, Taj Gibson. Thank you, Aaron Brooks. Thank you, Jamal Crawford. Appreciate you. We all came together. Thank Hell, you want to say it here? Clip it. Thank you, Jimmy. Appreciate you. No matter how we saw it, we didn't see eye to eye. All right, fuck it. We didn't see eye to eye. We don't have to, but guess what? We, we got the job done on the court. We gave the Wolves a chance to be in the playoffs. We did that. Thankful. Cool. Y'all always want to spread negativity. I, I see so much negativity on the internet. I hate that shit. All right. You all spread negativity. I want to spread love. I want to spread some appreciation. Flowers. Let's get flowers more. We losing people every day and y'all keep talking about trying to spread negativity and all this shit. I ain't here for that. I ain't here for that. That's that's bullshit. I, I always... I, I told Jimmy him to his face. That little player meeting after that practice, y'all supposedly had a, a, a narrative about and now whatever it is it is i'm not even here to talk about it here truth lies whatever i don't care i told myself yo listen i know we don't have to see eye to eye we don't gotta see see eye to eye you don't gotta fuck with me i don't gotta fuck with you it's cool but at the end of the day when you got that jersey on jimmy you i'm gonna respect you as my teammate brother i'm telling you that right now you get in that court someone wants to fuck with you nah they ain't doing that we ain't we ain't we ain't, we ain't doing that you my teammate. You wearing that jersey still? I got you. 
MB2. All right, cool. MB2. I told I told you we just talked. Me and MB on the court last game we played with each other. I'm just so happy to see him out here, uh, healthy and alive, bro. That COVID, that COVID was not playing with him the way the way I think. Like he was struggling, and I'm happy that he's doing better. I'm happy he's in a better spot. COVID is not something I wish on my worst enemies. Never will. Come on. So. League is what it is, but I just letting y'all know how I am. That's how I feel about everything. So, they're always asking, you know, and trying to say. So, I want to just tell y'all how I feel. Um, but that's real. That's real. Gave y'all a little emotion, a little bit of my soul, a little bit right there. So, 